Coming to you from San Jose, California, it's The Cube. Here is your host, Jeff Frick. Hi, Jeff Frick here with The Cube. We are on the ground after dark at kind of the back lot of the San Jose Convention Center behind Demo uh, 2014 in the fall, but we're here at the Primary Data Launch Aramba launch party. A lot of excitement. People launching, bikes launching, skateboards launching, yeah. all kinds of things launching. I just hope no one gets decapitated. Well, luckily we've got an EMT. I saw him sitting over oh, there yeah. and he looks bored, so that's what we <laughs> that's want. Good. Bored EMT. So I'm joined now by Eric Schoenfeld, the executive producer of Demo. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, well, thanks for being here. We're having a great conference. This, this is just day one. Uh, we're bringing 40 companies, launching new products across everything from wearables to Internet of Things, enterprise, smart data. Uh, the work cloud, you name it. So Demo's been around for a while. 24 years. 24 right. years, and, and you guys are all over the place. I was talking to Neil, he just said, he just went to Africa, you had Demo in Africa. What kind of startup action is going on in Africa? We got Demo Africa, Demo Brazil, uh, we have Demo China. Uh, as you can imagine, you know, entrepreneurship is uh, really taking hold all across the world, and uh, nobody has a monopoly on good ideas. Uh, in Africa in particular, you're seeing a lot of leapfrogging technologies. You're seeing a lot of mobile, uh, you know, technologies. And um, I think Silicon Valley is uh, sort of a beacon for a lot of entrepreneurs. We bring a lot of them here, a lot of those African lions, we call them. You know, we bring the Silicon Valley. Um, but people want to replicate what's so special about Silicon Valley for everywhere in the world in terms of entrepreneurship. Now, what about the infrastructure? Because a big part of the Silicon Valley magic is a, you've got great schools like Sanford and Cal, big game this week, you know, sure. smart people come, they stay, it's a nice climate. You've got the v infrastructure with the VCs and a lot of engineers that go from startup to startup and kind of a culture of startups. Are you seeing that starting to develop in some of these other areas? You know, everyone is, every uh, hub, entrepreneurship hub is, is unique and it, uh, it takes advantage of its own unique strengths, right? So different cities, different hubs uh, have, uh, ties to different industries, and then you see new startups that are forming to serve those those industries. When when countries or, or uh, regions try to be too much like Silicon Valley, they fail because, you, you know, Silicon Valley has grown over the past 40, 50 years to be what it is today, and you can't replicate that overnight. But there are things that you can learn from Silicon Valley. You can, you can take sort of the mentorship networks. You can take, you know, the way that uh, you uh, take innovation from the uh, you know research institutions and and put them into uh, into startups and and all the things that we've learned about building teams and uh, about uh, you know going to market I think all that is replicable in other areas and we're seeing that here in, in demo we bring other entrepreneurs from across the world you know to Silicon Valley and um, what Silicon Valley doesn't have they don't have a monopoly on good ideas right right and what what has changed the most over the last couple of years as you've done these demos you've seen all these startups is there some kind of big macro trends that you've seen not so much in the products but more kind of attitudes in the way these things get done well i think that you're seeing this explosion of of startup activity at the seed level right the the uh the amount of capital and effort that it takes to get a product to market has declined by an order of magnitude at least like you literally can take out uh, three founders can take out their credit cards and for you know $75,000, $100,000, they can get a product out the door. So you see a lot more products, a lot more startups at that level. Uh, but really now what we're trying to figure out is like, okay, well, how do you, how do you uh, separate you know, the signal from the noise? And that's what we try to do here at Demo. You know, which ones of those have a chance of you know, going forward and becoming the next great company? Right. Who are some of your favorite? Who are some of your favorite? Do you remember when they were just de little demo startups that really uh, that really you know, excelled? Demo has a great history of companies. Everyone from Salesforce to Evernote, Waze, TiVo, uh, E-Trade, and Webex back in the day. And uh, you know, we just keep keep uh, trying to live up to that tradition. Right. And primary data is hoping primary to. Primary uh, data. Yes. Nobody else. None of those guys had uh, motorcycles jumping over things, did they? 
No, no, no. They, they, I don't. Not, not to my knowledge. Not to your knowledge, All right? So oh, there the was a blimp once. There was a blimp. Yeah. So the other cool thing is you got, you know, you get to interview a lot of luminaries, right? And you did a great job at the uh, close of today interviewing Peter Thiel. Yes. I thought very insightful, very deep thinker. Really listened to your questions and really had some great things to say. Talk a little bit about him and and some of the great uh, entrepreneurs that have been successful that you know give guidance, give insight, right. give some some give back to the community really. Right, so we have 40 uh, founding companies that are launching the product here today. So when I pick a speaker, I want to create this what I call a founder school, people who created amazing companies and can uh, pass on some of their experience to these founders. Every Everyone thinks that when you're a founder that the end all and be all is launching your product, but that's just the first step in a long journey. Right. And so bringing someone like Peter Thiel or, you know, we've had other founder schools with folks like Vinod Kosla, um, Alan Kay, uh, you know, to, sort of you, you name it, like the founder of Evernote, who is also an alum. Tomorrow we're gonna have the founder of Indeca who sold his company for a billion dollars to, to Oracle. Right, so you have success and you come back to demo as a community and uh, we sort of pay that forward. Yeah, well, the motorcycles are starting again. Right. It's going to get really loud, so Eric, I'm going to let you go. I'm Jeff Frick. We're at the, on the Cube, on the ground, <laughs> at the demo conference and the primary data launch Arama, and they're firing up the motorcycles. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for having me.